Thank you, 2020? That doesn't even sound right coming out of my mouth. I'll tell you what I mean. Check it out. Hey y'all, it is Natalie Michelle. I am back. I have missed you. It has been, goodness, a roller coaster of emotions and events. I mean, if we were to really, really try to grasp the magnitude of what 2020 has been, my gosh, like I don't know that we'd have enough time to do that. And as I sat here and I was thinking about what to talk to you guys about, it, I realized how long it had been that I'd actually done this. This year, I mean, upset everyone's schedule, everyone's sense of normalcy and peace just went out the window. I mean, I've heard so many people say, when we get to 2021, everybody get in, sit down, don't touch nothing, don't say nothing, don't claim it's your year, almost out of a spirit of fear. And I wanted to kind of switch that on its head a little bit and, and really kind of think about what this year actually brought us through and what things we can actually say thank you. And I know thank you and 2020 do not go hand in hand, but I do believe that there are some things that we were able to gain. Number one, we got resilience. Resilience, the, the ability to fight back, continue to withstand despite what was going on between the pandemic, job loss, losing family members, losing friends, losing your sense of normalcy, depression, loneliness, anxiety. I mean, you name it, the threat of World War III. I mean, this year truly came with everything. And yet through it all, we still continue to stand. And you might not be standing as tall as you were before. You might not be standing as long and enduring as much as you thought you could. But guess what? If you're watching this, you are still here. The other thing that 2020 gave us, you guys, was rest. Rest, whether we wanted it or not, we got it. We were able to stop, to sit still, to really kind of refocus ourselves. And we realized how much of our normal day-to-day -day activities weren't that necessary and it didn't make or break it but it did allow you time to kind of step back a little bit some of you started walking and exercising more cooking more um, actually talking to people and having full-on conversations even if it was on zoom but just really sitting still for a little bit the other thing that 2020 gave everyone i feel like was in some shape or form the opportunity to reset it really made us look again like at our priorities. It made us really kind of say, okay, what really matters? What's really at the top of my to-do list? What really needs to get done right now? Also, just that focus of being able to sit back and say, you know what? Who really needs to be in my circle? Where are the family members that I really need to check on? So many of us were so used to texting people and just kind of just going off on the fly, but really kind of taking that moment to step back and say, hold up. Let me reset. Let me let me look again at what my resources are. Let me look again and reestablish and revisit my gifts, my talent. Some of you may have lost your job and you've had to reinvent yourself and kind of sit back and say, okay, wait a minute. So what what's that thing that I'm already good at that I was already doing? And maybe it was a side hustle, but now it's become your main hustle because of the nature of the pandemic. But it, if anything, it made us step back. And it made us look again in our lives and say, okay, wait, who do I already have in my corner? What do I already have in my hand? And so resilience, rest, and reset. Those were the things that 2020 gave us. As much as it took away from us, you guys, we are still here. And I'm so excited and so honored to just still be here because as we know, so many friends, so many family members, neighbors, people that we don't know didn't make it over. We owe it to life itself to continue to pull one foot in front of the other, continue to give it our personal best, and continue to give ourselves grace. We have no idea what 2021 is going to look like, but I tell you this, God's already there. He's already mapped out your future. He's already made a plan. And so do not fear. Continue to keep your sights focused on him because he's still in control. So I can't wait to see you. We're going to start a new journey here on the channel together. And we're going to do lots of things. Bring in some guests, talk about some things, bring some topics. So definitely invite your friends and let's get ready to grow together. Happy New Year. We did it. Bye, y'all.